Hey, Web World, Scotty D. Thanks for stopping by. I'm sitting here with the Mind Miner 25. Hello. You got to check out his channel. It's youtube.com forward slash the Mind Miner 25. He does all kind of weird videos and dare Mondays and cool things like that. And today, we wanted to do a quick video to show you how you can put custom maps in your Minecraft on a Mac system because it's a little bit different than on a Windows system. I wouldn't say it's complicated but it's different so you tell them how to do it on windows first first you have to go into your you know your windows thing that um the flags on it well you click on that the run button the, the, run, the start button the start it, button and then you type in run and then it'll pop up and then type in percent updated percent sign what is it percent updated percent sign percent updated percent sign percent updated percent sign percent up data, percent sign. Percent up data? Data. App data. App data. The, okay, so now that you've got completely confused right now, it's go to your start button in your lower left side of the screen, click on it, go to the run, okay. and type percent app data percent. You got that? We'll put those in the notes of this video description below. So if you and can't then, figure out what the heck we're saying, it'll be in the video notes below or the comment, and then whatever what, they call it. Here. And then once you're in the percent app data percent sign thing, the percent app data percent sign. Um. You, oh, you'll be in the roaming folder. The roaming folder will have the .minecraft at least at the top because that's like your main file. You go into your .minecraft, go into your save files, and then add the custom map that you downloaded. So are you thoroughly confused yet? Don't worry about it. We'll put all of those pieces of information that he just threw out at about a million miles an hour. We're going to put that in the video description below. Sorry, so you won't sign. have to. You have to put some percent, some percent <laughs> sign. <laughs> Now, I'm going to show you how to do it on a Mac system. It's a little bit different, but the concept is all the same. You've got to get the custom map downloaded and then put it in the right area. So, first off, let's go to a map that I wanted to download, and that is this one right here. It's the Hero Brines Return Map. I like it. It's kind of that medieval castle world, and there's some really cool adventures you can do in and this thing. So, this is where you can get it. Not that this map really matters to you, but if you want this one, this is where you can get it. Or just do a Google for Hero Brian's Return and find and the download and, and, and get it from it there. And on Hypixel's, um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, we're going to go ahead and we're going to download it first by clicking the download button. And you see it dropping into the downloads folder. And it's going to take a couple of seconds for this to download. So, we're just going to pause and stare weird at you. And then we're going to be right back. And we're still downloading. <laughs> and we're done! Did, did, did I scare you? Did I wake you up? <laughs> All right. So now that we have it downloaded, uh, we're going to close these windows out. I'll just minimize this one for now. I'm going to go into my downloads folder, and I'm going to... I'm going to... If I can I, talk... <laughs> I can't talk. I'm, I want to play Minecraft. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to take my Hero Brian's Return... I like to drag it to my desktop or something like that. Uh, I'm just going to click on the folder that I downloaded. Um, I'm going to take my Hero Brian's Return by uh, high pixel, and I'm going to just drag it to my desktop here. So I have it on my desktop. If you really wanted to read the text file, you can go in here and read all the text file stuff. But, but I really, really don't care about that right now. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and minimize that. So you see here on my desktop, I've got the Hero Brian's Return pixel, uh, by high pixel. That is the customized map. Now we need to get it into the right folder. So to do this, it's not so much as easy as clicking on the start button in Windows. In Mac, what you're going to do is you're going to go over to your finder. And I'm going to uh, go up here to the top and go to a specific folder. Now, I've already typed it in here. But if you needed to type it, what you're going to do is you're going to do the tilde sign. The thing looks like a little snake. It's it, Let me show you. You don't understand. It's this little guy right here. You understand? The tilde, the squiggly line, the thing that you never knew what it did inside of your keyboard, but now you know. <clears throat> so you're going to do the tilde sign first. And on a Mac system, it's case sensitive. So you want to make sure you do the upper and lower case correctly. So you're going to do the tilde sign with a forward slash library, all lowercase, forward, forward slash, slash Application support with the A and the S in application capitalize. support capitalized, just like you see here, and then forward slash Minecraft. So now that I've talked and now that you've seen it on the screen long now enough, uh, yeah, what he said <laughs> for the window said. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and click go, and that's going to open up the right folder that we need to. Now, how do I know this? Well, it's because we did a 
couple things of research and we figured out where the right folder was for okay. this. Now, you just don't take this folder and drag it in here because that would not work. That what you're going to have to do... That will crash your Minecraft. That will crash your Minecraft. That's the Minecraft. That will put a folder in your Minecraft and it will not know what to do with it. It will crash it. Okay, so don't do that. What you want to do is you want to take your custom map that you've downloaded. It's on your desktop and you've done your go to the specific folder and you're going to take that and you're just going to drag that into the saved folder. And when you do that, you see all of the different maps that you have inside of your Minecraft. All right, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to start our Minecraft and our custom map should be installed. So let's go ahead and click on our Minecraft and we're going to go ahead and log in. Takes a couple seconds. We're going to go to single player mode. And there wow. we have it. Our Hero Brian's Return by Hypixel is in. Uh, let me make this a little bit bigger for you so you can see it. Our Please. Hero Brian's Return by Hypixel is in our custom map. So that's all it takes to get a custom map installed in your Minecraft on a Mac system. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, drop me an email. It's scott at skyddonline.com. You can also comment below and we will go ahead and uh, if it's a good question, maybe we'll give you a video response. So who knows? But anyways, now you know how to do a custom map in your Minecraft on a Mac system. Until next time, we'll see you, web world.